And we are live here on the Now Morning Show. Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. It is our Friday edition and we are in the carnival season. And how do we know that we're in the carnival season? Because we are seeing so many fets, so many all-inclusives and so many events happening. And we're going to be discussing one that's happening tomorrow because joining me in studio is the principal of QRC, Mr. David Simon, to talk about QRC Fet Royal. Mr. Simon, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning and good morning to all of your viewers. Yes, happy to have you here with us. Uh, tomorrow it's on Fat Royal. I mean, tell us about it. Well, first of all, give us some context. I mean, I think this is an annual all inclusive that Curacy has every year. Tell us about the significance of the event. Uh, we do have it every year. It is a very important event that is put on by all of the stakeholders. We have the QRC Old Boys Association, we have the PTA as part and parcel of it, and of course, the school. So, it is very important to the livelihood of the school because as you know education competes with all other areas in our society for monies coming from the government and we do have but we do need the support of our other stakeholders so we have all of our stakeholders coming together to assist the school in terms of its financial restrictions and challenges. Yeah. So this fact is very important in terms of ensuring that Queen's Royal College is able to do some of the things that it wishes to do outside of the budget that is established by the government of Trinidad and Tobago for of the course. school. Well, let's get into the event itself. It's happening tomorrow. Uh, is it on the curiosity grounds? And tell us some of the people we can see and that sort of thing. Yeah, it, it always happens right on our grounds. We are blessed with the fact that our grounds is right there. We don't have to go across the road or anywhere. It's right outside. feel like right you're taking outside. jabs at, at somebody, Mr. Simon. <laughs> no, I definitely. feel like, you definitely know? Definitely we don't take <laughs> jabs, but I'm just suggesting that everything <laughs> is right there. You walk straight out of the school yes. onto the grounds. We yes. don't have to go anywhere. It's a yes. fact. So I'm not taking any jabs at you just, anyone. You just I'm just stating a facts. fact. That right. is right there. You were blessed with space. And Beauty. so you're using the space that you have. Most definitely. Yes. So you have, I, I guess, as the backdrop, most definitely the, the, the most photographed building in perhaps the entire Caribbean. That is our main building, right. which is a national archive. So that's the backdrop to the FET. So it takes place tomorrow, yes. And in terms of the wide variety of artists that you are going to get, you have uh, Patrice Roberts and the A-Team. We also have Nadia Batson. We have Ravi B. We have Kess. We have Voice. We have Iowa George, and then there are going to be some surprises as well. Surprises, as in somebody who may have made an appearance at another fact that he may not have been. No, I, I, I you can't say, you can't say that. <laughs> no, I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> but I mean, it, it seems like it's going to be a great event. I mean, tell us what is the difference between a QRC fact and any other all inclusive that we're seeing for this season? Well, let me go back to that word, like it seems. I, I don't know that it seems. It is going to be mm -hmm. a very good event. In fact, we have a track. We have a track record. Queen's Royal College has been doing this for quite a while. Yeah. And you know, I don't want to, to, to say I've been to other events put on by other schools. And I think that we all do an excellent job. And we all have our own stamp. Yeah. QRC stamp is vibes. <clears throat> we, we, are, we pay a lot of attention to ensuring that our fet is tight and that it is a fet, it's not a lime. It is right. something to come to where you are going to have exquisite cuisine or sort of concept is cuisine from around the world. So you're gonna get Asian, Chinese, African, right? Streets of the world, that's a, a sort of concept that we're going to develop in so far as the food is concerned. Mm -hmm. But really and truly what we say is when you come to QRC, you come for vibes, you come to fet. You don't come to walk around and socialize. That's what you're here for, to fet and enjoy yourself. That's you what carnival kind of is all come about. Come for like a hard fet, you ain't going to soft fet. No, hard <laughs> fet. <laughs> I'm just teasing, Mr. Simon. I mean, it's, it, it seems like it's going to be a fantastic time tomorrow. Tell us where we can get tickets, any social media handles we can follow, that sort of thing. Yeah, well, right now, you, you can certainly get the tickets online, but we have our tickets primarily at the box office, at the school, and then you can also have those tickets at Bagalitos and Port of Spain in Long Circular Mall, mm -hmm. in Grand Bazaar, and in C3 in South. So there are a few tickets left that people can avail. The price of the tickets now, because individuals have been late, is 1200 Okay. 
right? Mm -hmm. So they can get that. Yes. Yeah. Now I realize that we didn't talk about the array of, of, of drinks, of libations you may have down there <laughs> tomorrow. So, because I know some of the other events, they have like different bars and that sort of thing. So are we going to see a wide variety of that as well? Yeah, you will get a wide variety. Yeah. You have, as I said, it's the, the concept is sort of bringing the world together. So you're going to, of course, have your premium scotch from yes. different parts of the world. We know we are Johnny Walker nation, so that we will have that, but we'll mm -hmm. also have some of the other scotch. We have quite a number of firms that will be coming to do their own demonstrations and giving us, so we're going to have wines and all different types of drinks. Yeah. Whatever is your choice, you will be able to have it satisfied at our event. And is the college looking at any other uh, fundraisers throughout the year? <laughs> Queen's Royal College is, um, um, seriously, we have adopted an attitude of attempting to be as self-sufficient as we possibly can. So we engage in a number of different activities. The Old Boys Association, they have something. Our PTA is going to be doing something that is going to be coming up very soon. It's going, it is known, or will be known, it will be launched as Retro Royale. And the school puts on a uh, Christmas event that is known as Parang Royale right. uh, in December. Yes. So we have those coming up. And because we are an institution that pays attention to everyone, actually on Carnival Thursday, our youngsters have a fet that is put on for them, okay. basically planned by them, by the young men of Queen's Royal yes. College. Yes. It's known as Inner the Blue, IDB. Yes, yeah. yes, Inner the Blue. So apart from this that's happening on Saturday, you can also look forward to Inner the Blue by the, the young Carnival men of the Thursday, college. Carnival Thursday, that yes. is for the youngsters of yes. Trinidad and Tobago. And tickets for that basically are halfway sold out. Okay, nice. Yeah. Well, it seems as if you're doing uh, good work in terms of trying to be as self-sufficient, as you mentioned. And so I want to congratulate you and, and encourage you to continue doing things like that, of course, for the college. So, Mr. Simon, let me thank you for coming in tomorrow. I know Fet Royal is on. Of course, it's going to be taking place tomorrow. Mr. Simon reminded me that they are blessed with grounds, so it's going to be taking place on the grounds. I remember he would have also mentioned those numbers and, of course, the uh, websites and that kind of thing that you can go to to get your ticket for tomorrow. So, Mr. Simon, again, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. And that's how we wrap this first segment on the Now Morning Show. But stay with us. We have so much more. This is your Friday edition on Now.